Hello and welcome. My name is Sahan Chalabi and I'm a solutions engineer for Cisco Secure Connect. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at onboarding your Meraki sites when they're operating as a hub. To get started, I wanted to talk about the pre and post migration effects. This video assumes that the Meraki site you're connecting is currently operating as VPN type hub. The site is going to continue participating in the SD-WAN fabric as a hub, but we won't see any additional connections added on the front end. This is because Meraki hubs typically mesh with one another to distribute routes. The Secure Connect data centers, while they are treated as hubs, have meshing blocked by default. When you attach a site to a region, the hub will be permitted to mesh with the data centers from the region that you've selected. In terms of routing, we won't see the default route propagated automatically. We'll see what we have to do in the configuration to have that propagated. But any other routes learnt by Secure Connect will be propagated to the hub for reachability. In terms of the migration, it's going to look pretty straightforward. We have our Chicago hub and Secure Connect, and we're going to be building a connection between those two. So let's see what this looks like in the configuration. I'm on the Secure Connect sites page at the moment where I already have my London branch connected. I'm going to go ahead and add a new site. I'll find my hub location over here in Chicago, select it and assign it to a region. And in this case, I'll attach it to the US Midwest region. I'll hit next, finish and save. And then it'll take about a minute or so to see our site onboarded and connected to Secure Connect. Perfect, so we can see our Chicago location has been onboarded and is now showing up as one of the sites at the bottom of the list here. I can select somewhere in the white space of this site to reveal the slider window, which gives me a couple of hyperlinks to go to different pages to affect the configuration. There's also a remote, a remote routes option, which we'll come back and take a look at in just a bit. And I can also see the region it's connected to, how it's operating and any security related events associated with that site. So I wanted to spend a few minutes to talk about routing. Currently, for any internet bound traffic, this is breaking directly out of the WAN interface of the Chicago hub, and any private traffic will take its respective tunnel directly to the site that it's trying to communicate with. In the case of getting internet bound traffic, pass through Secure Connect so we can start to leverage those cloud security services, I need to enable the default route option within the configuration so that a route is installed to point all internet bound traffic towards Secure Connect. Let's take a look and see what this looks like in the configuration. Back on the sites page, if I were to reveal that slider window again, under the remote routes option, we see this default route. If I select the disabled option, and then from the radio buttons, select enabled, we'll now see that all traffic generated from the site is going to go to Secure Connect first before it breaks out to its final destination. Once done, that default route is going to be installed and all of your internet bound traffic will now be forwarded to Secure Connect. That's all we have for you today in this video. Thank you very much for joining and all the best. Take care.